Welcome back, friends and friends of archery. Today we talk about a Korean speciality, or not even, but in Turkey they had them, baby arrows and the overdraw device, which is called Tonga in Korea. It's the cradle and the Pyongyang, these are the baby arrows. And many always ask me if I ever shot one. I did long time a video ago and I had a overdraw device from custom thumbring archery but I didn't have proper arrows with it so it was not like the real thing. So I ordered from Freddy Archery from koreanbow.com this set. You can have this one. It's a nice cradle that the tongs are in bamboo. You see it tapers down here. It has here in front a leather glued on it so I guess as you are that you know when you reach full draw that you don't by accident overdraw the device into your whatever as a leather strap here i adjusted it already to i guess kind of my length and it has here a small leather patch which will be nice when you you know that you can hold it then later 33 inches then you get the pyongyang they are 18 inches akisol i don't know what that means they're bamboo steel flu uh, sirloin sinew is in glass peach peel, I guess this is peach peel, I don't know. So there's a lot of stuff, bush clover, whatever. I weight them, they are between 280 and 330 grains, so they are not m matching in weight. And this whole set sets you back 329 US dollars plus shipping. So it's a little bit on the pricey side, but on the other side, what you get is quite interesting. It's a full set, so you don't have to worry which arrows should you use and whatever. Arrows, as I said, not too lightweight, so I guess it's fine for almost every bow. Of course, I will to sh shoot today again the KTP glove, which you can have from Freddy Archery. It's $45 there. And I shoot the KTP one today, which I again got from Freddy Archery Korean bow. I think this one is 40 pounds. And with this one is 495 US dollars. So just so you know everything, I gave you all the details. And now it's all about how to shoot this thing, you know, so that because it's a little, you have more than only bow and arrow. So what you want to do, I guess, is you line one arrow up here that the knock points maybe a little bit out. Then you bring this into your bow. You can hold it, of course, with the left two fingers in position or even with the thumb. You knock your arrow, zack. You, oops, you hold everything in position. Takes a little to get used to. Use your middle finger for the strap. Make sure that the strap runs nice here on top and bottom of the knock. And then you just do your normal thumb release here, thumb grip, then you can throw and you can shoot. Works quite nice. Of course you can flap now your hand back and throw it all the way out and whatever, but you know, up to you. Let's shoot. Of course I guess it needs some practice that you get used to it. The nice thing is that they are not too pointy so you can simply put them in your pockets. So you align the arrow. But I guess with practice, as with everything, you get even faster there too. You knock it, you put your thumb in there. Oy, oy, oy. Maybe I made this thing a little too short, but hey, you know. So, you wrap this around, you wrap this around, and you're ready to go. Look at this, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can do your torque still, no problem. Don't overdo it, not, not that you break the tonga. Joking. Let's reload this thing. Mm -hmm. It's okay, everything will be fine. So I find out it's easier when I don't have my thumb in the sling here to reload the arrow, but that's me. And my dexterity. <laughs> that's me and my dexterity. Yep, and once you shoot a few times, I guess even your accuracy will be there where it should be. But most probably they still shot 140 meters with this, so I don't know. You will know. You are all the historians and 
I just had a long talk with my student from America. He was asking me so many questions. I said, look, I'm so bad in history. I have no idea. I only know application. If something works for me, it's okay. If it doesn't, I don't use it. No matter if it was historically correct or not. Bam! So it's not rocket science. It's not so bad. It takes just a little more because you have one piece more and there's always this little bit of not that it will come out here, but on the other side you see that the tunnel in front is quite closed, so the chance that this thing will come out and shoot through your hand is quite minimal, but happened. <coughs> not to me, but to others. I mean, most probably you know Murad Özferi, he does videos too, where he shoots with this thing, moving targets and he's hitting everything, so I said, matter of practice. Get used to it, so it's not a big thing. Let's see how accurate I can shoot. I put the flower back there because my sticker came off. So let's see how close we can get to the flower from a distance. From a distance, 10 meters. Now look at this, not so bad, not so bad. Yeah, most probably you find a way which is not so fiddly. But it feels safe. Yeah, so. Nice thing here, you know, you have here this cross stitching of the leather. So once you have the arrow, the baby arrow in place and press it again, it's really not sliding anywhere. So it's quite, quite interesting. So only don't forget that you have to fiddle this through here. Knock here, hold it here in place, then bring your th middle finger through there. Always make sure that the string is above and under. Not the string, the, the, the thingy. A bit too high. But hey, a few shots and you get there. Whoops, so. I know I look a little slow compared to the guy from War of Arrows. But yeah. But you get faster with time. It's not a bad group. It's not bad. It really works just nice. <laughs> Tong A uh, and Pyun Yun. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's a real interesting thing to do. Something new, you know. We always like challenges. Oop, come in here. So. Always like some challenges. Yup. Nice. See, once you know how to do everything, you get faster and faster. Still, I'm way beyond being fast shooting capable with this one here. But we're getting better and better. So. Ooh. I show you the group, of course I have to. Zack, zack. Zack, zack. If I shoot the group now. Ah, no. <laughs> Almost the group. To the first two, this far. It's not bad, it's fun to play with. Question now is, uh, 280 to 330, they are 340 or 50 grains. So these ones I would normally shoot with the bow. Now let's see if there is a speed advantage, but where should it be when the arrow weight is almost the same? Oops, I guess we need to turn you on first. Makes sense. versus hundred seventy-seven. 
So same weight, same speed, so there is no benefit unless you shoot normally. Heavy arrows, 188, and uh, now we are warming up. I shot something. Oh, not the please, not the, the. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I didn't say that, but I think I shot now my. <laughs> you know that they are really expensive. Yeah, I don't like my life. Look at this. See if I can fix it really seriously. I had to Robin Hood now these freaking expensive arrows. But I have to say it's fun. So and once you do it a few times, you know, you get your reloading action here done. You know where you have to put and what you have to put where. I let the arrow point out a little like this. Easy, you hold it in place, you put it on the bow between string and bow, obviously, that the uh, tongue uh, is on the inside. You hold it in place. You grab the loop with your middle finger. Make sure that it's nice lined up here. Then you're ready to go. So now I Robin Hood one of these. Ah, fun, really fun to do. It's a little, you know, you feel a bit uncomfortable in the beginning, but it works. So, what can I say? 330 euros and I broke already one of the arrows, just nice. Yes, I had to pay for it. Freddy Archery didn't give it to me for free, but he gave me a bow bag and a thumb ring, so I will show this one in another video. So this is fun. I really encourage you, if you shoot these things, get one and practice it. It's, it's a skill. It's nice to have and once you start with it it's hilarious you don't want to stop because it's just something new and what you for sure don't have you don't scratch your fingers here so look at this suck 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 works fine nice combo Thank you, Freddy Archery. This bow I got once, long ago. This one I had to buy. This one I got from Freddy Archery. Koreanbow.com <laughs> No need to see, but I guess there's no chance that I can fix this one. We will see. Maybe I find a small splint and super glue it back and reinforce it something. We will see, because they are quite heavy for what they are. But you know, then we throw it. <laughs> so. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.